Hello and welcome once again in chapter 6 from Triple I channel from the CCNA course. This is Sajjad Ghafouri for the sixth time in the sixth chapter. It has been like a month, maybe more than a month. Everyone is asking in the comments, where have you been? Where is it? will chapter 6 be released? And there is also chapter 7 and there is an Arabic course, another one. Also chapter 6 and 7 are not published yet. Yes, I'm sorry. It has been a long time. It has been a month. I was out for a boot camp for Juniper Networks in Dubai. I was working a lot for my work, business, home, etc. And also, a lot of things have been happened. Chapter 6 is a wireless network fundamental. So it's a wireless LANs and wireless networks and entirely new thing that to be added in the CCNA course or the CCNA certificate because before there was a CCNA wireless exam and the CCNA wireless course and fundamentals and this official certificate guide and a completely book a complete book another certificate guide which is another official book from Cisco and the exam and etc with some theoretical and practical sides it was huge, a big certificate. So that has been deleted in the new CCNA. And what has been replaced is a chapter. There's only chapter 6 to be added in this course. That's it. So now we have chapter 6, which is wireless network fundamentals. It will be a big chapter. Actually, it will be huge. I thought that it should be like a few talks about some wireless fundamentals that you should not have like deep dive in it. Because in the CCMP exam... You have the CCMP in core exam, which has a lot of wireless concepts and configuration implementation in it. There is a dedicated exam, one of the concentration exams in the CCMP called an enterprise, um, I'm sorry, a wireless design exam. Another exam, a third one is called a wireless implementation exam. So like you'll have, maybe you can pass through like two exams only for wireless networks and the in core also have some dedicated wireless chapter in it so there is a ton of wireless information in the CCMP enterprise so maybe the CCNA some has only some fundamentals but I found out that I must study mention and talk describe interpret a lot of things in this chapter in chapter 6 right now okay by the way we, right now we are in March from February up to March this month or these five weeks that I have been recording at all during this period a lot of things happened the exam has been officially released let's talk like about for one or two minutes for the exam right now the exam which is the new one that we are preparing for we are preparing for I'm sorry that we are introducing a course about is the 200-301 this exam it's becoming like other vendors exams from the CCNA concept is almost diff totally different from the previous CCNA 200-125 the differences is now the rumors and some people's and friends that I know and some online publishers some people who are vloggers on the internet YouTube Facebook etc social media or LinkedIn are saying all, all of them are stating the same thing is that the new exam is about 100 question the previous one was from 50 up to 60, 62 was from 48 up to 62. As an average, you will achieve like from you will have like from 55 to 58 or 59 question. This this was the old exam. Right now we have 100 exam, 100 question in the exam. Yeah, 100 question in two hours. The same time period. It hasn't been changed. The old exam has two hours of exam duration. The new exam also have two hours of exam duration 100 question again all of them are theoretical questions no labs no config you will not use your keyboard that's it so this is just like actually if you were about to talk of another vendor then juniper networks those guys with the green certs on my right all of those six certificates or all of those six exams behind me right now with those green ones on the right all of them are written which says written, I mean total written. All the ex questions are about theoretical, multi choice questions, maybe drag and drop, other things, true and false, etc. So, in the new CCN, it's becoming like the same thing. It's about 100 question, no labs, no config at all. But just, but labs might show up because the exam has just been released like uh, two weeks ago. Then that's it. Okay, two or three weeks ago. Then 
we cannot really be assured or guarantee that you will never face labs in the exam but basically or, or the few people who have examined this new exam right now all of them are confirming it's about 100 question and there is no labs or any practical side so that's it we, but uh, all of them had did also confirmed the same thing that the exam those 100 question are covering everything starting from the fundamentals layer 2 layer 3 IP services security up to right now what we are about to study which is the wireless networks and the automation and programmability so 100 question are not concentrating on some topics so on neglecting others no they are covering everything and that is good because just in case you said I will pass the exam without studying automation because I don't like this new thing you probably might not pass the exam and that's good because you must study it you will become certified in CCNA the new CCNA you will achieve the new badge and your certificate uh, date of examination will be after February uh, 24th 2020 so everyone every company will assume that you have an idea about all the new topics so you must study all the new topics and I'm doing my best to introduce all the new topics with everything that Cisco mentioned in their new blueprints in both languages that I can speak until now which are English and Arabic just hope I have had some more time to study even more languages and can reproduce the course in other languages like maybe French Chinese or the most or top talking speaking languages in the world so anyway this is a new chapter six the slides will be uploaded right now to the video the first video will come with the slides I believe in the English course it will be video number 70 or 71 such thing yeah we have I have talked a lot and have recorded a lot of hours until now uh, also my new CCNA exam certificates I have received all those five are new I have received a new CCNA, I have received the three specialist certifications and the new CCMP Enterprise instead of my old five exams that I had, which were three CCNAs and two CCMPs. Right now I have a single CCNA, a single CCMP and three specialist uh, badges or certificates like you can see. They are fine. Okay, so without further talk, I have talked a lot, uh, I've talked a lot about those. We will start with chapter 6 right now. Okay, chapter 6 will be about wireless networks, will be about in detail or deeply what is happening between two points if there was no wire between them. The absence of wired networks or the absence of land, but they have to connect. The perfect scenario that we used to talk about in all the five previous chapters were like maybe your computer this guy here is connected like to a switch that is connected maybe to another switch and this is the router that will connect you to the internet this router also is connected to a switch but uh, that's it some for some reasons maybe for some like tons of reasons that will not may avoid me or will deny me from extending a cable here maybe it will be a long distance maybe this one in a building those guys are here in a building and this those other guys are in another building uh, another building and have like no permissions from the government to extend the cable in the street or there is no way that I can extend the cable to the street maybe these buildings are adjacent but according to the topology there are no fiber optics or any underlay cables or wire connectivity underground so what will happen we will use the wireless no wires at all okay so there will be a wireless connection between this guy and this guy over here this one will be connected to some source of device that will send some frequencies to this other one that will receive some frequencies what will happen happen in this chapter will be a lot of details about everything that is happening just between these two yes because wireless network is not establishing a wirelessly network an entire network that doesn't have wires at all wireless network is that having a solution for a small part in your network that cannot have some cables extended then I will use wireless networking just in this part and that's it this part in the end will go directly connected to the switches to the wired network to the LAN so wireless networks are just a small part of what's happened of, of my entire network of my entire LAN network you can imagine that in this way it's not a WAN network it's a part of the LAN network so it's not just even a 
complete LAN where like you have your devices are wirelessly connected to a wireless switch that is wirelessly connected to a wireless router <laughs> this wireless router is wirelessly connected to a wireless cloud using BGP and to the internet and that's it so that's it this world lives without any cables at all you will see cables are still exist routers and switches are still exist only what we will do is that we will do some new devices and they are only two devices uh, the access point and the wireless controller and sometimes you will not use the wireless controller controller you will only use an ac an access point which is the ap and connect it with a cable to the switch and that's it so it's really small part of your network that doesn't use wires wires and the rest are using wires maybe the 90 percent or 80 70 percent of your network all of them are using wires the same topology of the other networks yeah but why this chapter is big because uh i must mention everything and cisco has mentioned a lot in their blueprints and from those a lot are some configurations so we will use pack tracer a bit in this chapter yes there will be pack tracer i will show you how wireless network devices looks like how you can access them actually uh, the most preferred thing that cisco always prefers in the previous ccna wireless and in this new certificate in this chapter is that you access all the wireless network devices which are only the access point and the wlc the controller uh, by the way, I have talked about access point and the WLC controller in chapter one in the network devices. Okay, so just in case you have forced chapter one, then you will now have a full idea about what are those devices and what's their role in the network. And I will talk again about those all the details in this uh, chapter again. So again, uh, what I was talking about, I have lost things okay so those access point and wlc what cisco always prefers and recommends for you to get inside those devices configure them using gui graphic user interface not the cli like we have did before in the previous chapter starting from chapter 2 up to chapter 5 we have always used cli in the pack tracer to configure devices right now those wireless network devices are do support cli most of them but they are preferred to be configured using the GUI. That's it. It's a marketing thing. Or Cisco wants you to do that. Or some that's a thing. The other thing is that since those devices are like they are, uh, I can say since those devices are maybe making or are a small part of my entire network, and they are doing simple thing. They are not doing those. Uh, routing protocols they are not doing those layer 3 and layer 4 processing etc then their configuration should be simple and it should not be like commands that you should memorize it will be a graphic user interface with some checkbox to click and unlink hit apply and that's it you have everything you want of connectivity protection quality of service profiles etc that's it as simple as that so it's cisco is right uh, here to recommend the gui instead of the cli so in this video uh, it has been a lot actually i don't want to make this video like an hour uh, this should be enough in the upcoming video i will start directly with the wireless principles and we will talk a lot about, about wireless because you will see when you download these slides of chapter six they are 19 page 19 slide yes they have a lot of talk a lot of things that you need to know but they are useful you will not get bored I did not get bored. Okay, I hope you will also will not get bored about that. So thanks for watching until now, and we will start in the upcoming video directly with the new let's erase this with the new wireless principles and the 6.1 subject of chapter six. So thanks again and goodbye.